everybody, it's Cindy A. Lewis, and I was asked to create um, an instruction on how to make a deco mesh wreath. And so, um, being that I was asked, I am going to do that. So, if you already know how to do that, you may not um, want to watch, but if you do want to, that's fine. This is going to be the basic wreath, and then at the um, end of the video, I'm going to embellish it a little bit more. So here we go. What I'm going to do is I have one of these 14 inch wire wreaths from, it's a frame from the Dollar Tree. It's 14 inches, it has six sections, two, three, four, five, six. I've taken chenille stems and I have three per section, two on the top ring and one in between on the middle ring. Now these can move around, but as you get your mesh on, they will become um, more stable. Now I'm going to use this really pretty jute poly mesh. It's 10 and a half inches. I have 10 yards. It will probably take the whole thing. And this is one of the poofy um, deco mesh wreath. And <clears throat> You cannot find this at Dollar Tree, um, but you can find it at many places. Um, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, wherever you live, you probably can find it. And um, this particular jute poly mesh I found on Amazon. So if you are interested in that, I can uh, link that below, but just let me know. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna get started with that. Uh, basically, I will show you how to get started. Okay, so unroll your deco mesh and bunch it together, kind of like this. You're going to feed it underneath your first um, chenille stem, and you're going to wrap your chenille stem around your deco mesh wreath and tighten as tight as you can tight all right so you're gonna pull that here you're starting on the inside ring and you're gonna take your mesh and just pull it like this and you're gonna start on the inside ring and you're gonna take your your chenille stem and you're just gonna tighten around it and you're just gonna mush it together and then you're gonna go to the next one so my next one is here and I'm going to just do this. So that's what you do all the way around on the inside ring, okay? And it will hold better once you get more. Now I'm using these dark stems so that you can see them. You might wanna blend with the color that your um, mesh is, but you'll see it won't make that much difference anyway. Okay, so <clears throat> as I said, there are many videos out there uh, on how to make these, but this is just, I was asked, and so I wanted to be sure and do that. So now I've done the inside ring, and I'm going to take my deco mesh and go on the outside where I had the other, um, you know, chenille stems. So I'm going to do that. It's the same process, and then I'll show you uh, when I get through. Okay, so I'm going to raise up the camera a little bit so you can see. This is a really full uh, wreath, so let me do that. Okay, so this is basically it. It's um, about as high as I can get my camera right now. So I have a little bit left over, so I'm going to cut it and tuck it. Excuse my arm here. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to tuck it underneath here and then I have I have a chenille stem right here that I can tie it to and then I can tuck it in to the wire so that's what I'm going to do now you can put glue on these if you want to you can um, you can definitely use twisty ties or something else if you want it a little bit different all right so there we are and you can see I used the dark chenille stem so you could see it really well. Uh, let me try to hold it up for you. Hang it on the wall. That is your basic poofy, basic deco mesh wreath. It's really poofy and it's real pretty. Now, if it was in a different color, you know, you could just 
choose to do it however you want. I like this, it's really cute, but I'm gonna add some ribbon to this one. Oh, where are you? There's some ribbon and add a little color and some flowers to it and make it more uh, fallish for uh, the season. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that and then um, we'll see how it looks at the end. Okay, so basically you wanna cut some ribbon, some pieces of ribbon about nine inches long and I'm just gonna cut them and then I'm going to um, put the notch in them. So I'm just gonna do that and then you'll see it'll be like, um, you know, if you fold it, fold your ribbon in half and then you cut from the edges up like that, you can easily cut like that. So anyway, I'm gonna cut some pieces of that. I'm gonna cut about, um, these are nine inches, and I'm gonna cut, <clears throat> I'm gonna cut probably nine of different colors. So I have this one too, so I'll cut some of that. And then I have this pretty um, kind of like nutting type um, glittery stuff. And then I have this plaid that I like. So I'm gonna mix all of that in. So I'm gonna cut some pieces of that and then we're gonna add them to the wreath. Okay, so I have my ribbon and I'm going to put two together and I'm gonna scrunch them. And you can see there'll be two. So I'm gonna take them and put them into where my Chanel stem is and tighten that. And then I'm going to pull my ribbon so that you can see them both. And I'm going to do that all the way around and I'm gonna alternate with this pretty green with the pumpkins and just scrunching them together and then tighten them, um, putting them inside these chenille stems that are already there. And that's gonna add some color to my wreath. And you can do whatever colors you want and make it however you want it to look. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll come back at the end. Okay, so now I have all my ribbons. You can put more if you want more. And you can take a pencil and you can uh, make your Chanel stems like little um, swirlies by wrapping them around the Chanel stem like this and then pulling them out and you can do that. I don't know if you can see that very well, but you can do that. And then you can add whatever you want to it. So let's look at this. All right, so you can see the wreath looks really pretty. You could add lights to it. Um, you can add anything that you like. Uh, you can add something in the middle if you want to. It's really hard to see on the poofy ones that you hanged, uh, have anything hanging in there. But I am gonna add some flowers and leaves to mine and I'll show you what it looks like. But one thing that I use are these uh, Chanel stems that are sticking out because they're already there. And glue doesn't stick to this very well. I mean, it will stick to it, but um, it can fall off easily too. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll show you uh, what I come up with. Okay, so this is what I've done. I have added some vine leaves, got my ribbon, I've added some flowers, and then I added a couple of pumpkins and a um, gourd. And this one is a white one, I'm not sure if I'm gonna leave it in. But how I put those on is with some floral uh, wire. I don't know if you can see that here, floral wire. And I added those on and wrapped them around the actual wreath. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that it gives you an idea of how to do the basic deco mesh wreath. I think it turned out really pretty. You can add a big, huge bow if you want to. I feel like this is pretty puffy and big and so I don't Feel like I need to. The white does stand out to me uh, with that white pumpkin so I may replace that with a different pumpkin but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video.